Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese in there. It's a massive meal, I can't believe it. Ow. This looks great. And my view is incredible. Hi. Oh. Come on, girl, this way. <laughs> Indy, can you say hello? Indy and I are so glad that you guys could join us for another little adventure. We are out uh, looking for a nice place to pitch the tent. We don't really know this area all that well. So it's going to be um, interesting seeing if we can find somewhere to camp. But I've had a good look at the maps and I've got a bit of an idea of an area that's down by the river. And if you listen carefully, you can just hear the river down that way. So I don't think we're far. We're going to make our way down to the river and see what it looks like and whether it might be a good place to pitch the tent for the night. I've just bought the little one person tent um, because I actually want this camp to be more about my new tarp. Got myself a DD Hammock Super Light um, 3 meter by I think it's 2.8, 2.9. It's just off 3 by 3 and I really want to test it out in some good rain conditions. At the moment, let's see if I can turn around so you can see, the um, Clouds are promising a bit of rain, but it's still just partly cloudy. The forecast is for rain. We've had about two days of rain in this area, so it's really, really wet. Um, the ground underneath is going to be wet, and there is a little thunderstorm planned for later on this afternoon, and then rain all evening and overnight. So that should be really fun for our camp. I'm looking forward to the sound of the rain on the new tarp as long as it holds up to New Zealand rain conditions. Um, otherwise I may not be so happy if it ends up not protecting us from the rain. So we'll see how we go. Right, we're heading down this slope and I can no longer hear the river. So who knows, it might be longer than we thought. Oh yeah, looks like we're here. And when I say here, we're at the bit that I saw on the map was going to be a potential spot for a camp, but I don't know for sure. So we're just going to need to check it out. Let's go check out the river first. I'm going to go and see what we can find in the way of a camp. One person limit. One person and a dog. Beautiful.
plenty of water for Indy to drink. Lots of lovely water for me to uh, gather when I need it. But it's these rocks that are going to be the problem. And I have a feeling it's going to be really hard to find somewhere that's not rocky around a riverbed. Hmm. Okay, well I've been up and down both sides of the riverbank and up the side stream and I can't find anything quite right. It's either too rocky, too wet, too noisy. So a bit like Goldilocks, uh, I am looking for just right. And so I've decided what I'm going to do is put my pack on and I'm going to head over that bridge that we saw and keep going and see what I can find along there. After going down there and trying out a few campsites, I decided it wasn't right. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. I think I could string the tarp up here. The ground's quite soft because it's got moss on the ground. I'll just need to move this log out of the way. And my view is incredible. Right, finally, I think I found my camping spot. I tried to set up down by the river, but then when I played some of the footage back, I realized how loud the sound of the river was, and I don't think that's a very nice um, background noise to have all the way through a video. Plus the sand flies were terrible down there at the river. And I just, I just didn't have a good feeling about it. And something about camping on your own, if you, if you want to feel safe and comfortable and confident, you really need to be really happy with the place that you're camping. And this is quiet. And secluded and beautiful. All right, I've got to get cranking now because I, I wouldn't say I wasted a whole lot of time, but I used up a whole lot of time by bush bashing up the side of the river, looking for somewhere to camp and coming up here to look for something, choosing to go back down to the river, trying to set up there, finding it didn't work out and then coming all the way back up here again. So it's actually getting quite late. I haven't got my watch on, but I suspect it's close to dinner time. Would you like to have your dinner? Yeah? Would you? I feel a bit bad that it's so late. I tell you what, can you wait just a little while until I've set up the tent? Yeah? You think you'll just lie right there? Which is pretty much where I need to set it up. As you can see, this tent does go up in two parts. You've got the inner and then you've got the fly, which means I'm grateful that it's not raining right now, even though, as you guys know, I love the sound of rain. And um, I really hope that it rains later on. But right now, I'm grateful that it's not raining. Hey, so there it is, the atom. Oh, hang on, what have I done? Have I put the door on the wrong side? I have, which is really stupid because they make it so blooming simple for people like me. Black end, red end. Oh, that feels so good straight away. Ah. What brand is this? I don't know. But it's merino. Merino wool, so warm. All right, what we have dinner tonight 
is vegetarian nachos and what we're going to do is start off by uh, browning some onions and garlic so I don't want it to be too hot okay hopefully I've remembered everything this is the point at which you go uh oh what did I forget now darling I love you but you need to come and lie down Lie down. Good girl, that's it. Oh no. Do you know what I've forgotten? A fork or a spoon? Oh no. How am I going to mash this? Oh well. That's what happens. I'll figure it out. If I got here a bit earlier, if I had a bit more time, I could fashion one. No, no, leave that. Leave. Fashion one out of a stick. I may yet do that. Right, so this is red onion and garlic. And in the bottom is a bit of pesto. you just please keep your nose out of everything um hmm maybe I do need to go and find a stick that I can make into a bit of a a spoon or a fork can I trust you don't burn oh. Pup? Oh, I was going to say stay there. But you might be safer to come with me. Every time I shake that, I'm losing a whole lot of onion. I don't know. Don't want to cut your nose, Indy. Just, sweetie, stay away. Indy's thinking, um, oh, stick. Oh, honestly, I can't be bothered. I had a look around and honestly, like, if I was more of a bushman, be able to do it but there's just no decent sticks they've all either got lots of the black sort of moldy stuff that these beech trees have on them uh, or everything I touched was wet and soggy everything is wet and soggy which was why I was expecting it to rain So I'm softening up the eggplant with the garlic and onion and basil pesto and in a couple of moments once that's softened up enough I'm going to add some, oh, looks disgusting, <laughs> some um, chili beans and corn. starting to rain all right I would prefer not to have to retreat into the tent so I think I'm going to put the tarp up I'm going to let this just gently simmer away while I put the tarp up
I think I'm going to need to adjust this if the rain actually does start to pour down because I think we'll get some pooling. But for now this is good enough just to make sure that I'm going to stay dry if it starts raining lightly. that hasn't dried out perfect Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. okay I'm going to sprinkle some cheese in there oh just drop the snow cream in that's okay sour cream can go on the top as well I'll put the lid on to melt it I know I've said this before but I'm so glad that I moved down up here from the river because the river was so noisy and I was trying to convince myself it was fine but it wasn't until I actually listened to the footage that I realized how noisy it was and the track went just past there so even though there's probably nobody going to be going along the track at this time of the evening I still don't like that thought that somebody might be and I think that's the thing when you're camping alone it's like with a lot of fears or anxieties it's not the actual thing it's the fear of the thing and that knowledge that you're going to be sitting there or lying there if you're in your tent at night thinking about worrying Whereas up here, I don't have a care in the world. It is so cool. And if you listen carefully. You can hear the first little drops of rain on the tarp. Here's my corn chips. All of the little portions seemed small now when I'm putting it all together it's a massive meal I can't believe it but I don't want to have to carry this stuff out again so I'm going to eat it Unfortunately, you missed hearing most of the rain because uh, my camera battery ran out and I didn't realise it. I was sitting chatting to you and listening to the rain <laughs> for about half an hour. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a fail. Never mind. It's not the only fail. The other two is that I bought the wrong charging cable for the lantern and it has run out. And it also would appear that I didn't leave my solar lantern out in the sun for long enough. I really thought I did. I left it on the windowsill, but it has been pretty rainy a couple of days, so it just obviously didn't get enough direct sunlight. Never mind. It's a beautiful evening. I'm not sure you'll be able to see much because I am just existing by the light of my iPhone. I'll turn the camera around for you. 
just going to listen to the rain and chill out, drink my hot drink and then go off to bed. Tomorrow morning is going to be an early start because I need to be back in town in good time tomorrow. Family commitments. So I think the alarm might go off at about 5am. <laughs> it does get light quite early though. Not quite 5am but yeah I might actually get up a little bit later than that because if I don't have any light for my phone that might be a bit tricky so I'll probably get up at about 5 15 5 30 at the latest I need to get going I need to be on the track by 6 15 so good night everybody thanks for joining me it's been a lovely evening and I'm sorry that you missed out on some of it because of my camera battery running out that was a real fail I had a lovely meal. It was absolutely delicious. I really, really enjoyed it. And Andy's been enjoying herself, just chilling out. That's pretty much what she's been doing. She had a big weekend, so she's just recuperating from that. She has been absolutely on the go for the last 48 hours. So I'm going to finish getting our bed snuggled up, our bed set up, and um, get snuggled in there, make a hot drink enjoy that and I will see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, puppy dog. Do you think it's breakfast time? Oh, okay. Now you're quite muddy, so could you just hold off there? <laughs> right, I'm going to give Indy some her breakfast, and I'm going to get cracking on my breakfast too, because I don't have all that long before I need to be on the road. Perfect. Oh, lovely. <laughs> there you go, softy. Look, you've been in the bush. Yes. There is no way I'm going to be able to eat this without a spoon. To, I know. Could I turn this into a spoon somehow? Hmm. Right, I'm going to finish this and then we're going to get picked up. Right, we're on our way. There was our spot up there. I 
and we're off back down to find the track. Right, there's the car. <laughs> Excuse the huffing and puffing. I basically had to power walk the whole way back in order to make my deadline. And even though it's raining and quite cold, um, it was such a mission that I had to do it in a t-shirt. Anyway, we're back here on time and um, that's the end of our trip. Thanks again guys for coming with us, we had a great time. Um, if you like this video, you may like this one over here. Um, and you may like to subscribe with this little button over here. Um, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks everyone, bye. Say goodbye. Yes.